Hey everybody! Welcome! Mr. Crosley here and Mr. Adams are here to teach class today. I'm glad to get glad to see you all. So let's, let's see, what's going on today? Nothing much. Just a good time. Always. Uh, so really we're planning to do a lot of footwork today and some sparring drills. Do we have the Uh I think I left it in the lobby. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep. Once you join us, let us know you're here so we can greet you. Uh, you guys got any fun plan? Anything fun planned for this week, or not even necessarily fun, just different going on? I'm very excited that we'll actually be back and be able to see you in just a few weeks. I'm very happy for that. Also, if you did anything fun this weekend, just let us know. Like, yes. talk about it. I have to fill two minutes with talking, which I'm not very good at. I wish what I did actually you do talk over to the you. weekend, peeps? Also, don't forget to let us know your name before you, you join, so we can see that you're here. What did you say you did over the weekend? I I planted flowers for my grandpa, cool. which was fun because I've never done that before. It was fun to learn how. Oh, wow. And we got uh, barbecue for my dad's birthday, barbecue. which was delicious. City barbecue? Yes. Yeah, I know the other one. I really like city barbecue fries. I have never had it, but I know the other ones. <laughs> delicious. We should get city barbecue sometime. I agree. It's fun. Again, if you guys are watching, make sure you comment and let us know you are here. Um, so I know who we have to talk to. Yep. Otherwise, I'm just going to act like I'm talking to Arlo the entire time. And he's not, he might even watch his class. I was like, hey, Arlo. Bye, Arlo. Do your kicks higher, Arlo. <laughs> Stop taking pictures on my phone, Arlo. We're watching. Um, if you didn't get the memo, as we jump back into regular classes, you're going to have to schedule what time you're coming to class. And uh, we sent an email about how all that stuff is going to get done, and Mrs. Mershad was very clear that we need to look at that email. So if we don't, we get in trouble. So don't let us get in trouble. Make sure you check your email. Read the email! And if you're in Fusion, make sure your parents read the email, or we get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Hello, Bodie and Lola. Good to see you guys. Good to see you, Mr. Fiani. Hello, hello. I'm sorry about this one, right? Cover we did ask the question, what did you do over this past weekend? Let us know so we have plans for next week. Hi, newbies. No, I'm just kidding. Hey there. Mr. Newbie, are you enjoying classes so far? I know you've been training quite often. Just want to make sure we are... You're liking it. <laughs> hey there, Bonilla parents. Good to see you guys. Mr. and Mrs. Bonilla. Okay, I'm going to try to figure out how to make this thing vanish. Fantastic. It's time to get started. Five. I figured it out. Awesome. All right. Let's do it. Good to see you, Mr. Brockwell. All right. Lock it in. Face front. Get in. Academy tenants begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. And can I bow? Thank you, sir. Thank you. And step out, Chun B. Let's get started with some neck rotations one way. There we go. We got a bunch of people jumping all off set. Let's see. Got Alex. Good to see you. Keep going. Drop Ooh, the arms and other side. Nice and slow. If you want to rock back and forth like this, feel free to do that. Go. I miss doing bonfires. I am very jealous of that. Very good. Interlax. Arm circles forward. You turn your palms out like this, facing out. That'll help you stretch a lot. Nice and slow. Nice and fast. Whatever is the best pace for you. Keep going. Nice slow neck rotations. And relax. Other way. Palms facing out if you can. And back, and back, and back. Very good. A few more of these. And relax. Arm back, arms back and forth across the body. Very good. Just a few more seconds of these. Keep going. And relax. Last one. Arms up and down. Very good. And relax. Now I'm like my favorite stretch ever. Legs about double shoulder length apart and stretch over the body side to side. Stretch it. I love this stretch. And other side. I said other side, but you can go back and forth on your own. We can Whenever zoom in on you. You get a good stretch. Ooh, zoom in. Fancy. There you go. Keep going back and forth side to side. Just a few more. One, two, and one more. Three. Very good. Relax. Keep your, uh, keep your legs straight. And do the same thing, but stretch down side to side on your own. I like to stretch somewhat less, but. 
Still important. Keep going back and forth. A few more seconds of these. Keep going back and forth and relax. Bend your legs, a butterfly stretch. Or not butterfly stretch, Spider-Man stretch. Way cooler than butterfly. Very good. Side to side in there. If you want to try to post up on the ball of your foot and use your elbow to push your knee out, that'll deepen the stretch for you. And other side, on the ball of my foot, using my elbow to push my knee out. Very good answer to the other side. And keep going back and forth by yourself at your own pace. Just a few more seconds of these. Very good, and relax. Okay, everybody, it's time for a warm drill today. Our warm drill is gonna be very simple, but hopefully it'll get you sweating and get you moving so we can get a real good class started. So drop back in your fire pants on your favorite side. Level one is gonna be super easy. All we're going to do is jab, jab, punch, and you can switch sides. Jab, jab, punch, switch. Any questions on that? I hope not because it's pretty simple. If you do, just let me know. Clicking my mouse turned around. We'll get a timer on the clock for 20 seconds. And go! Jab, jab, punch, and switch. Jab, jab, punch, and switch sides. Jab, jab, punch. Keep going by yourself. Halfway there. Very good. Keep switching back and forth. Jab, jab, punch. Other side. Jab, jab, punch. Other side. Jab, jab, punch. Other side. One more. And relax. Very good. Level two of this. All we're going to do is add a jumping jack in the middle. So after I go jab, jab, punch, two jumping jacks, land on the other side for another jab, jab, punch. Very good. Let's get started. 20 seconds on the clock. Get ready. Get set. And go. Favorite leg in front. Jab, jab, punch. And two jumping jacks. Other side. Jab, jab, punch. Two jumping jacks. Other side. Jab, jab, punch. Two jumping jacks. Other side. Jab, jab, punch. Very good, keep going. One more, jab, jab, punch. One, two, and relax. Very good, good to see you, Miss Cottrell. Jumping on to level three. Uh, level three, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add in a burpee with a push-up and a high jump. Wanna do the high jump? Don't forget to pull your knees up high in the air with the rest of your body. That'll help you on your jump kicks. So 20 seconds on the clock, get ready, get set, and go. Jab, jab, punch, and drop down, push up. High up in the air, land on your other side. Very good, jab, jab, punch. Burpee, up high in the air, and land. Jab, jab, punch. Burpee, down. High up in the air, and relax. Very good, and drop down for your back rollers. Five on each leg, go. And I'll join you for the last three. Three, and four. Very good, last one, five. Same, same thing. Five with your legs straight. Go. And one. Back up. Very good. Two. Back up. And three. Very good. Four. Trying to twist or bend your back in this so you feel as if each of your vertebrae are hitting the floor. And five. Very good. Legs straight out in front of you. Back straight. Bending forward for your toes. If you can't pull your toes back towards you, that'll help get a deep calf stretch in addition. To your upper leg. Very good. And stretch a little bit deeper. Just a few seconds left on this. Very good. Relax. Pull one leg behind you. Stretch down your straight leg. Hurdler stretch on your own. Pulling your toes back again and leaning your chest forward. Very good. 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And very good. So sides, other leg. Switch it out far and deep stretch, pulling the toes back. Relax your leg muscles. Don't punch them up. That'll hurt your stretch. Very good. Keep this one deep. 10 seconds. And a little further. Very good. Three, two, one. Relax. Uh, cross your legs and spiral twist or pretzel stretch. I like that. Very good. Again, keep your back up and relax as you push into the stretch. You'll get a deeper, more effective, and safer stretch. Very good. And other side. Relax back muscles as you twist into the stretch. Very good. Five seconds left. Three, 
two, one. Very good, relax. Okay, lay down on your back, pull one knee in, switch your legs every five or six seconds. Go. Very good. Other side. Other side. Keep going. About three more of these. One. Very good. Pulling. Two. And last one. Three. And sit up. Stretch your legs out in a V. All right. For this one, we're going to go seven side to stretch. Seven side to side stretch. So at your own pace. All count out loud. Get ready. Get set. And go. One. Sir. Two. Sir. Three. Sir. Four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir. Very good, relax, Sit your legs out wide or toes up in the air, bending out your hips, stretch down side to side on your own pancake stretch. Very good. I'm just jumping my other side, stretch out my other leg. Very good, keep stretching. For anyone who joined us late, make sure you, or if you're in fusion class, or your parents, check your email because it's very important. As we transition back into regular classes, there's a lot of very important information on there that Mr. Murshad will get me in trouble if you don't read it, so read it. Very good. Pushing forward just a few more seconds on this stretch. Muscles nice and relaxed. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Everybody sit up. Bring your toes together, knees up and down like butterfly wings, and we'll push them straight to the floor. Butterfly stretch. Very good. Awesome. There's a few more seconds of these, and we'll jump right into it. Awesome. Every half up, and let's get 15 more jumping jacks on your own. Go. I'll jump in with you. I think we're probably about five. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Eleven, sir. Twelve, sir. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen, sir. 15, sir. I messed up your counting. I'm sorry. Okay, let's jump right into it. We're going to start off today with some slide kicks. Today is all about stances and our footwork, so it makes sense that we're going to jump in and get started working on our footwork for our kicks. Uh, when we're sparring, one of the best things I've found, one of the best tools in my toolbox are the slide kicks. It covers distance really fast. It's, it's just a blast and it helps me a lot with distance problems and sparring. So, let's just jump right into it. When we do our, our slide kicks, the most important thing I do is I have my knee up first, my back leg turns and pivots, and my back heel comes off the floor and pushes. Notice my foot was on the ground the entire time throughout that. Two of the biggest mistakes I see when doing this are number one, jumping, and number two, it turns into a step before the knee is up. If that happens, you're signaling to your partner that you're about to kick. If I'm facing you right here, you see me step, you know I'm coming in for a kick, so you can either get out of my range or jump in and counter. And then that's really bad for me. So let's just get started practicing. We're gonna get started nice and easy with just the slide portion. So pick up your front knee. It doesn't really need to be chambered for a round kick or front kick. Just nice and relaxed above your belt. Point my back foot backwards. And let's practice that slot. One, and sit down. Very good, we're gonna to go to five. Hands up, knee up, and two. Very good, and land. This one we're gonna go for distance. Get ready, and three. Sit down, very good. Get set, pick up. Slide four, last one, best one. This one, try to hold your balance at the end. Don't let your foot fall down. Five, whoa, I lost my balance there. I had to hop and sit down. Very good. It wouldn't make sense if we just did it one leg. Let's practice the other side. Lean back, almost all my way on this foot. Pick up your knee, pivot, get ready, get set. Ooh, balance. Slide and sit down. Very good, that's one and two. Sit down. Very good, let's go on to number three. Pick up. Slide and sit down. Number four, this time I want you to try to pick up and slide simultaneously. Don't fall into the trap of shifting your weight forward, stepping, and then kicking. If your weight shifts, you've already signaled your partner, you've already got kicked in the gut, it is too late. Let's do it. Pick up and slide forward and sit down. Last one, best one. Get set up and slide, sit down. Very good. We're going to take that same technique and we're going to add in a round kick at the very end. Hi like Quinn, good to see you here. Lean back in your stance, working on slides, slide kicks. So as we do this one, I want you to pick up your knee first, slide, and then pause for a second. And at the end, shoot off a round kick and sit down. We're gonna make it smoother and piece it together, but for now, let's break it up into bits. Get ready. And let's do it together. Pick up, slide, kick, sit down. That was one. 
Get ready, get reset. Back up, slide, oh, very good, and kick, and sit down. Notice what I did wrong there. I need a little bit of a hop. I came off the ground as I did that. That is very bad. You lose control when you're up in the air. Uh, jump kicks are for a very different situation. This is for covering distance. So make sure you're staying on the ground and slide instead of coming off the floor like I did. Let's go on. Pick up, slide, kick, and I came off the ground again. You guys gotta watch out for me. Last one, slide, kick, and land. Very good. Other side. This time we're gonna try to go a little bit smoother. Instead of going one, two, three, we're gonna piece it together in one smooth motion. You ready to set in? Slide kick. Sit down. Very good. That's one. And two. Sit down. Very good. Number three. And sit down. Notice the difference between the last time and this time. The first time I slid and I lost my balance. Bad. Notice the second time I kicked and I well I lost my balance down. The second time I kicked and then landed with my balance good. Watch your balance. If you're jumping in towards someone at spawn and you lose your balance, that opens you up. So you gotta keep good balance. Let's go on to number four. Get ready to sit in. Kick, sit down, very good. Last one, best one, number five. And sit down, very good. Final level of this, we're gonna take the same technique and we're gonna add a side kick on. Through one way, through the other way. I don't need to say a whole lot, let's do this. Get ready, get set, side kick. And sit down, very good. And sit down, two, very good. Three, and sit down. Other side, get ready, get set in, slide, kick, sit down, very good, and two, sit down, last one, best one. get loaded up, slide, three, and sit down. Thank you all a whole lot. We're going to move on from our slides for just a moment, and we're going to work on self-defense. Thank you, guys. Face me now. Mr. Adams, you ready, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, let me angle this upward because I am freakishly tall. All right, here we go. Uh, Self-defense, guys, you've done this before. Let's do it again. I want to make sure that we are just repetitive through this, okay? Muscle memory. So if somebody would just kind of swing at you suddenly, you're just like, whoa, I got this, okay? All right, hook punch is coming in. You have room this time, so you're going to lean back. Pass, grab, punch. Pass, I'm sorry, pass, grab, hook, punch, okay? Um, so hook punch coming at you. You're going to taste the romance, and you're going to lean back. Pass, grab, hook, punch right there. Let's get a few on each side. Go for it. Pass. Grab, hook, pass, grab, hook. Now, if you are working at home with another person, take this as a chance to work with them. Have one person swing, the other person touches the arm, grabs the wrist, does not hit, but hook punch close to the head. Um, if you have someone to work with at home, do that, all right? Say, hey, bro, punch me in the head. And I mean, he will, I will, so be careful. But um, uh, if you have a partner to work with in your own home, Feel free. I don't have someone that I live with here, so I will not be using that to show you. All right, next one. This is off of a parallel block. Again, hook punch coming in. This is going to be touching the forearm and the bicep. Blocking, back fist. Parallel block, back fist. What's stronger than one arm? Two arms. Simple math. It's the math that I can understand. All right, that arm swings in. We're blocking that arm, back fist. Blocking that arm, back fist. This time you're you're either meeting it or you're going slightly forward. That evil is going crazy. Um, you're either um, meeting it or going forward. You're not backing up for this one. You're, you're meeting their arm and saying, no. Meeting them and saying, uh-uh. All right, last one. This one is off of a, another hook punch coming at you, but this time you were just too close. They are right in your face, basically, okay? Like, they, they're almost probably going to miss you. So you're going to keep going forward. You're going to get super close to them. As you go uppercut, I'm sorry, um, shield block, then uppercut. You don't normally do a shield block if you have a ton of distance. If my partner was over here, I wouldn't do a... Okay, that's a long way to go to get there. Uppercuts are for up close. All right, so you're getting in close. Shield block, uppercut. Their jaw is probably like right here, okay? Our nose. Um, you're close to the opponent. Let's get a few on each side. Shield block, slap them in the back. Uppercut. Shield block. Uppercut. Block. Uppercut. One other way of looking at it. Going forward. Uppercut. All right. So, great job with that one, guys. I want to work on some quick kicks. That's right. Quick kicks with Mr. Adams. Uh, if 
Mr. Lamb is here, that would be a lot better. Quick kicks with Nick. All right, so quick kicks, guys. Now, we have done a lot of slower kicks lately, but today we're working on the speed of our kicks. When I say a number, you're going to kick. Your job is to kick as quickly as you can, get your leg back to the ground properly as fast as you can. So if I say one, you go, yeah, that was, that was quick. Did it look good? Not quite. Let's start out with front kicks. Go hop into a sparring stance. Now, make sure you have room. You're kicking. You're doing a proper front kick and putting it on quick. Should it be sloppy? Absolutely not. Is it probably going to be a little bit sloppy? Maybe. But we should not aim for sloppiness. We shouldn't say, well, it's okay because stop making excuses. All right? Try your best to go quick, but not sloppy. All right, here we go. When I say a number, you kick, put your leg back down. One. That was not that quick, actually. Two. Three. Four. That was cheating. Can you say the numbers one more? Say five. Five. It's a lot easier if somebody else says it. Yeah. All right, switching legs. One to five. Get ready. Get set. And one. Awesome. And two. Relax. Get reset. And three. Next one. Hands up. And four. Very good. Last one. Five. Good All time. right. Very good. Next is going to round kick. We're going to use Mr. Crosby to give us one. Five on each side. We're getting some round kicks this time. Okay? You ready? Get set. Get set. And one. Reset. Two. Very good. Three. Next one. Four. Last one. Best Win. one. Number five. That was quick. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Get ready. Get set. Don't do anything yet. One. And two. Very good. Three. Next one, four. All right, let's make this last one a double. That sounds fancy. And five. Double? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great job, guys. That was some quick kicks. The reason we want to work on some quick kicks every once in a while is for sparring, um, which we're about to do in just a second. Uh, it's important that we can be able to just fire off a kick at will. All right, so very good. Those quick kicks. I'm going to talk to you guys real quick um, about what it looks like to be excelling as a leader. All right? Unfortunately, you guys more often than not are going to be put in leadership positions because of the kind of stuff that we talk about and work on here at Ultimate Leadership and Martial Arts. A lot of you guys taking class are instructors. A lot of you guys teaching class that are in jobs have a more of a leadership role, I would presume. I don't know everyone's job, but it is important that we are not only excelling in personal things and workout related things, but also as being a leader. People look up to us, and we have to make sure that we are excelling in those categories as best we can. I'm not saying you need to be perfect, but we need to make sure that we know exactly what we are, the, the standard we're being held to, and that we can break past it. All right? Um, for example, uh, if you're an instructor here, um, and again, I know I have an instructor here, but you guys have seen instructors, so this should, shouldn't be too far off as an example. Um, whether or not you are the teaching instructor, excuse me, a staff instructor or a helping instructor, regardless of level of our patches and that, you are a help. You are very important to the program. And that's, that's definitely coming from me who gets use out of it. But even the students would agree with that. I don't think a student would say, yeah, we enjoy classes where it's just Mr. Adams, all right? Because there's only one Mr. Adams that can go around. But when it's Mr. Adams, and Mr. Jaley, Mr. Lane, and Mr. Crosley, and we're all working on the same class, that class is a lot of fun. When it's Mr. Adams, and Mr. Crosley, and Mr. Moore's there, and Mr. Crawford, and Mr. Brockwell, and we're all helping classes, that's a ton more fun. Because this entire floor will be filled, all right, because of how important your guys' roles are. Again, it's just for instructors right now. Um, it's important to know that, yes, you are a leader, but you don't have to have all the burdens, all right, of being the leader. You're not, you're not by yourself, okay? There are people who understand you. There are people near you that can, you can kind of talk to and work with this. Um, so just keep that in mind that as a leader, it's not because you have to just be by yourself at all times. You have people to help you out, and what you're doing is important. Great job in any category of your life that you're being a leader in, and I hope you're doing amazing with it. All right, let's switch gears. Now we're going to work on a little bit of sparring, okay? Now I have... A five move combo over here and my white and yellow belts over here. If you are my five move combo people, you're trying to not be too repetitive, but
but keep it flowing and creative, okay? Yes, I could have a very different move for him if I'm doing jump kick, spin kick, jump, spin kick, and all these crazy stuff. Is it going to flow? It could. It might not, though. Make sure it's smooth. Mr. Rashad uses the smoothivity term, which I love. Um, make sure it's very smooth. My five people, uh, combo people. Start thinking about your combo. Over here, one yell butts. You guys are doing side kick, side kick, spin, side kick. Here's what it looks like. I have my leg in front of me. I'm pointing it towards you guys as my knee comes back towards me, but kicking towards you. Side kick one, side kick two, spin, side kick. That is your three move combo, but these guys have a five move combo, all right? Is everybody ready for what we're doing? All right, get my timer ready. We're gonna do uh, 30 seconds, go. Three move combo over here, side, side, spin, side. Five move combos this front, orange belts and above. Everyone, orange belt and above, you're going side, side, spin, side. If you are white and yellow or haven't really gotten a belt from us yet, you're over here with me, side, side, spin, side. All right, let's keep it up. Sparring stance. All right, just five seconds left, guys. Keep it up. Sweet. Next one. If you're over here, you have a four-move combo. Now, your challenge for this one, if you succeeded last time, is having your moves ready, but they're completely different than the last one. If your last one was A, B, C, D, E, you don't want to do A, B, C, D next time. You want to do all over the place. You want to be completely different, okay? They should feel like different combinations. Over here. My white and yellow belts. This next was pretty fun. You're in your sparring stance again. You use one arm to block, chop, chop, and you stop using that arm finally to throw a side kick. All right? Block, chop, chop, side kick. That's for my white and yellow belts for people who don't have belts yet. Everyone else, four move combo. Ready? Okay. Begin. Show me your combination, a four move combo. Make sure you have jump kicks, spin kicks, challenging moves. If you're over here, it's side, I'm sorry, block, chop, chop, side kick. Low block, chop, chop, side kick. A good tip for this one, white elbow, is that it's all on one side. I'm not switching side and side. I'm not using my entire body for this one. I'm just using one side of my body. All right, great job, guys. We're on to our final level. Everyone over here, orange belts above, all the way to black belt. Three move combo. Trying your best. This is one I really challenge you guys to have your best moves in. All right? Because this is the first combo you're going to show off. It's also the shortest. If you come and go, is that your best combo? It's a good combo. It's your best combo. I love doing the combo in sparring. It's like your best combo. Show off some cool moves with your three move combo. Everyone else, you guys also have a three move, I'm sorry, wine yellow, you guys have a three move combo as well. It is front kick, round kick, spin, crescent kick. Sounds familiar to the first one because it is. Side, side, spin, side is kick, kick, spin, kick. Well, this is also kick, kick, spin, kick. So it's a little familiar. Does it make it more confusing? Sure. Okay, here we go. I'm taking this leg as I bring it up. Front kick, keep it in the air, round kick, and then I'm going to spin around, crescent kick. One more time, I'm taking this front leg. Front kick, round kick, spin, crescent kick. That is your guys' last combo. It's a three move combo, though. Everyone's doing a three move combo technically. Let's go. Just 30 seconds to show off your combo. Try your best to get through it. Over here, it's front kick, round kick, spin, crescent kick. Orange belts above. Try to do a completely different combination. Being creative, showing off some moves. If you are a brown belt above, I would hope there's at least one jump. Or spin, if not both. Or and. Jump and spin. That'd be a crazy one. Okay, guys, time is up, and I believe that's all the time you guys have with Mr. Adams today. I'm sorry, but I will fortunately, I'm sorry, fortunately, handing it back over to Mr. Crosby to pitch you guys up today. Um, keep up the good work, and have a good one. Thank you, sir. Okay, everybody, we're going to jump into a really short fitness drill, and then I'm going to let you guys go. Um, the only thing you'll need for this is you're going to need a jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, that's okay, but it might be a little bit more fun with one. So I've got mine right here. I'll give you just a few seconds to grab one. I'm going to take a sip of water, then we're going to jump right into it. Fantastic. Mr. Adams, could you be my timer? Oh, I started it too early. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, so the way this is going to work is we're going to do our pyramid. We're going to go all the way up to the top of the pyramid, and then we're going to stop. And at the top of the pyramid, we're going to do a short um, four-minute uh, fitness drill. Hopefully, it'll get your heart pumping really fast. Um, I won't be able to talk. I'll be talking through my gasping breaths, but hopefully, it'll be lots of fun. Once we've done all that, we're going to go back down the pyramid and finish off class. So let's get started with the pyramid. Uh, today you can do any three levels you want. One upper body, one core, and one lower body drill. I'm just going to do push-ups, leg lifts, and squats because I love those three exercises. So once you've chosen your level, uh, we don't need a timer for this first bit because it's just the pyramid. We're going to go all the way up to level six and then stop. And then we're going to do some cardio workouts and then we're going to go back down. So get ready for level one of that pyramid. I'm going to turn it down so you can see me a little bit better. You can do whatever exercise you want. I'm going to start with push-ups. So get ready. Get started. Level one. In. Come. I'm start with my first push-up. Uh, wheel around. Leg lift. And then hop up for my squat. And that was level one. Level two. Awesome. We're going to go all the way up to level six. Very good. And up. Awesome. If you're sticking with me, we just finished level two. On to three. Let's get. In. One. Very good. Two. And three. Swing around. Very good. And one. Two. Three. We want to balance being kind of quick, but we also don't want to be too quick. We have to keep that pressure on the muscles throughout the entire workout. Very good. And level four. Get ready. Let's do this. And one. Very good. Two. Three. Four. Very good. And wheel around. If at any point you need to modify, please do that. Getting a slightly easier workout is way better than doing a harder one back. I think I was four. And one, very good. Two, three, and four. Level five, let's do this. You guys are killing it, let's go. And one, two, very good. Three, four, five, and whatever upper body workout on, on the core. Let's go, one, two, Nice and easy. Three. You guys are killing it. Four. And five. Wheel around. Let's do it. Lower body. One. Two. You guys are killing it. Three. Four. Nice and slow. Five. Last level. Let's, like make, this, let's make this one explosive and fast. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Wheel around. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Since this last level is explosive, I'm gonna add some jumps in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Relax. We've reached the top of the pyramid. Now we're gonna take a second, look at the view, and do some cardio. Grab yourself a drink of water. Let's go. We're gonna do the whole thing twice. There are four exercises in total. We're gonna to do eight sets, eight sets of 30 seconds. Grab your jump reps, Mr. Adams, get the timer. Four minutes so, get ready. Get set, and jump rope, go. If you don't have a jump rope, just jump on your spot. Tiny little calf movements. Go at your own pace. Keep it up, guys. You are well under halfway there. Looking oh, great yeah. so far. Most importantly, don't forget to breathe. Six, five, more. four, three, two, one. Relax. Rest for about 10 seconds. Awesome. Drill number two. This one's a little bit less dynamic. We're going to do a little duck, chop punch, duck, chop punch, duck. Chop punch. Are you guys ready? Get set. Fine. 30 seconds on the clock. And go. Chop punch. And duck. Chop punch. Duck. Chop punch. Very good. You guys are killing it. 10 seconds down already. Two thirds of the, one third of the way there. My bad. Halfway there. Keep going. Duck down. Chop punch. Duck down. Chop punch. Very good. Don't stop. Keep going. Five seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Relax for 10 seconds. Deep breaths.
Very good. Okay, this one's crazy. Three jumping jacks, one burpee. Three jumping jacks, one burpee. I did lie earlier. We don't have four exercises, we have three. So that's a little bit better. Yay. Get ready. Get set. Let's go. One, two, three, and down low for a burpee. One, two, three, and down for a burpee. Push yourself, but don't hurt yourself. If you need to do something else, if you need to modify, do it. Otherwise, make yourself sweat. I think I need more than three. Keep going. And one, two, three, and down. Very good. One, two, three, and down. Very good. One, two, three, last one. Down, up, relax. Whew. We're only halfway done. We just got to do each of those exercises once more. I'm out of breath. Grab your jump rope, get it ready, get set, Mr. Adams on the clock. Three, two, one, go. Thank you, sir. Going at your own pace. Don't, don't take it easy. Do not take it easy. One third of the way there. 15 seconds, halfway there, don't stop. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Next drill, duck chop punch, duck chop punch. Let's make this a little crazier and add a jump front kick. I'm out of breath. Get ready. Get set. Go. Go. Chop punch. Jump front and down. Duck. Chop punch. Jump front and down. Duck. Chop punch. Jump front. Modify if you need to. Keep going. Duck. Chop punch. Jump front. Halfway there. Don't stop. Chop punch. And down. Chop punch. Jump front. And duck down. Chop punch. Jump front. Duck down. Chop punch. Jump front. And relax. Five sixths of the way there. We got one drill left. Catch your breath. Jumping jacks and burpees. Last time before we jump, we burpee and stood up. This time stand up and jump. This is gonna be a hard one. If you need to modify, please modify. But if you don't, push yourself. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. 30 seconds on the clock. Get ready. Get set. Go. One, two, three, and down. Jump high in the air and relax. Next one, let's go. One. Two, three, and down low. Up high. One, two, three. Halfway there, don't stop. One, two, three. Down low. Up, whoa, up high. Three, and down low. Jump up high. Three more jumping jacks. One, two, three. And relax. Let's get rid of that timer. Now, guys, we've got one thing left. The mask is upside down. Okay. One top of the pyramid. It's time to go back down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Any exercises you want. Take a few deep breaths. It's time to do this. Let's go down. First step. Get ready. Get set. Get down. And go. Here you go. Remember, do what is good for you. I want you to get stronger. If you try to do, if you try to go higher than your own level or lower than your own level, it's not going to help you. Don't you love? You guys are killing it. One, two, three, four. Last one. Five. Level four. Let's do this. There you go. Don't stop. And turn around. Second exercise. If you need to stay behind me and go slower, that's cool. If you're crazy and want to go fast, that's also cool. Good exercises. That was four. I'm on three. Stay with me, guys. We're almost there. One, two, and three. Take it around. One, two, and three. Very good. And top up. One, two, three. If you're still with me, we got two levels left. Let's do this. Come on. One, 
two, and around. Let's do this. One, and up, two, up on your feet. One, two, last level, nice and slow. Very good. Deep workout. And up, one squat. Everybody face me, deep out. Thank you so much for coming last. Good hard work. I did not take it easy on you guys. Thank you so much for coming out. I had a blast. I hope you did too. See you soon. Great job, everybody. See you guys.